Aloha, YouTube. This is your. This is the Elon Marley podcast. I even know what episode number seven. Uh, it's your boy Crypto Roots and everything currency. What's the good, brother? What's up? What's up? What up, met you, man? What up with everybody out there? How y'all doing? Yo, hope you guys are staying safe. We let's let, we're not even going to go too political, but we already know the state of uh, the U.S. right now. We already know it's 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 you know there needs to be a change. Let's just say that before we oh, get all man. into it. Palm over gonna all. All I'm gonna it. say, all I'm gonna say is a little palm palm face emoji. That's it. Yeah. On that no subject. Doubt. <laughs> no doubt. And um, yeah, you know, it's gonna be a very interesting situation. Yeah, for sure. So, with uh, with that being said, let's get into it. So, the first thing I personally want to bring up, and then mm-hmm. obviously, you know, you. But I definitely want to bring this up because this has been low key under the radar. But we need to, we still can need to uh, throw some red flags. Did you hear about the the, the few um, that the um, the group called few, like hashtag, like not hashtag, but like few money few. You ever heard of that? Did you hear you? about the drama where they were trying to uh, airdrop on all their followers? No. Um, was that, that, was that part of the whole thing that was called, like, they had a Telegram group called, like, The Experiment or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I heard No, it was that. called Few. Okay, okay. Yeah, it was called Few. It was based off the uh, the Blue Kirby Few Understand, right? Yeah. Well, the first, I think the first So uh, they had group, a Telegram group. Yeah. Yeah, that the, all, the, all, like, some of the top crypto Twitter uh, people all got in this private group and wanted to create a coin to dump on everybody. Right. Yeah, yeah. And and so what happened was a lot of people got called out. Some of the most influential investors, bro. Some of the most public figures all got caught. They all because the screenshots and they were just like it was like the true demon shows. Like you guys were trying to scam all your followers because yep. because what happened was um, there was a meme. You heard of the meme, right? The airdrop, that non fungible token meme. You yeah. Heard about that? Yeah. So though, that's how memes started. It was a private Telegram group, mm-hmm. right? And everybody in that group got airdropped like 365 meme. Till the, the meme went up to $160,000. So that, and people sold it right away because they thought it was a shit coin, right? People in the private group got the airdrop. They got the meme token and they sold it right away because it was like, what, free money? It's not worth anything. It went, meme went to what, $1,600 something dollars. That yeah. was a, over a $600,000 return on investment that they got for free. And they all cashed out. Majority of people cashed out because they didn't even realize, think it would be anything. Yeah. Right. So that's, you know, that's how meme got started was the private telegram group airdrop. Right. So mm-hmm. what these people were, they got airdropped the meme, a bunch of these people, a bunch of these uh, crypto influencers. Right. And they all sold it and they all missed out on si- over $600,000 worth of profit. And they all were like feeling bitter. Like you could tell by the tweets, they were all feeling bitter. So what they did is they tried to like rearrange a new meme airdrop, right? Mm. So they tried, but because they missed out. So they're like, hey, you know what? We all missed out. Let's let's pump, let's pump a dump another coin. Let's call a few and let's just dump on our fox, right? And get get this get the bread back that we missed out on. They got called out before the shit even hit the market, bro. Yeah. And people were just lost so much faith in all these people were like, you guys tried to fucking scam us, bro. Man, it Hard. was some it was some influential people in the crypto space. I'm talking like uh top developers, you know, um C- CEOs of exchanges, like but I I heard like in the in the group, you know, like they all started like, oh yeah, it was it was all fun and games. And at some point, there was a couple people yeah, in the group who were like, it was a joke, right? Yeah, it was a joke. And then some some people were like, whoa, like this is this is getting kind of kind of out of hand. We could go to jail for this. And and that's where uh, one of the people in there started uh, whistleblowing. You know. Yes, thank, thank praise Ja Rastafari. But they screenshot all that because you you don't know how much money would have poured into that shit, right? Oh, for sure. You know? It would have been it would have been millions and millions of dollars because, like you said, it's some of the most known influential people in the in the DeFi space, like in general. And it got so much to the point where a lot of these people are employed in the crypto industry, and the people that are in their employers turn turned a blind eye to it. Right? Yeah. yeah, you did some shady shit, but we're just gonna ignore that it didn't happen, right? Yeah. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, you don't just you, you don't take what I'm saying. The whole lesson is, first of all, 
uh, they got greedy. How they got greedy because they missed out on they they didn't appreciate what they had. They sold off. They wanted to the greed wanted to get back what they lost. So they wanted to sacrifice their following in order for that money, and that's where they fucked up. That's, mm-hmm. that's where they fucked up. And me, you, like social media influencers, at what point does it come where you're willing to sacrifice your audience over some bread, right? Nah. Like, you got to, you, you know, it doesn't matter how big or how small, but like, it, you got to be careful because that greed will, that will put you on that. And so I, I think you deserve to lose a following if you're, you were planning to scam your followers, bro. Like, yeah, I think if up. you, I think like with, with crypto in general, like if you're an influencer in this space, like there's already just people who live off of scams and just live off of scamming people in crypto and your job like number one priority should be like yo anybody who clean the space up yeah anybody who follows me should should not get scammed like they you know what i mean like i'm gonna do as much as i can to be like yo don't hop into this if you do hop into it you be ready to lose everything you know what i mean like be cautious Not like, oh, hey, jump into this, jump into this, knowing yeah. damn well that there's a whole group of people who are thinking like, hey, we finna dump as soon as the price goes up. And, and like, from a scamming and invest uh, uh, viewpoint, yeah, that's the way you do it. But, like, you, just, you didn't sacrifice all the hard work you, you got, you know, and exactly. trust that people had into you, you know? And you would have gotten away with it, too. Like, if, if, if everyone was, like, down, they wouldn't have gotten away with it. And then, you, you know... They wouldn't trust me. The shit will eventually uh, show itself, right? The demons will eventually get called out, and you know. So yeah, they were some saying, of them did apologize. Yeah, some of them were saying them like, "Yo, we're we'll about to pump this legally." They're saying, "Oh, it's going to be a legal pump." You know, it's not going to be illegal. I'm like, I don't know about that one. <laughs> so like, yeah, that's something that I, I'm not. I don't. You know, there's a lot of names and everything, but. That's something. Just don't take your uh, audience for granted. You feel me? For sure. Don't take your audience for granted. Uh, at the end of the day, your audience supports you. Even if you got no bread, somebody in your audience will help you out with some bread. If you, you know, I mean, come on, like you don't got to plan. You know, it's not worth it. You know, right. but I mean, you don't know. I mean, if there's three mil on the table, you know, <laughs> like uh, one thousand six hundred subscribers. Uh, I don't know. I expect this shit over, right? <laughs> yeah i mean like for me i like you got to get in a a legit way like straight straight pumping and dumping like that's that's straight legal bro like that's when you when you really look at it like that's just straight legal and you're gonna feel kind of like you have to be looking over your shoulder if you think you got away with it you're like man what if what if the sec does come back around and tries to try to hem up everybody in that group you know like and not just that. I mean, let's let's be real. Let's be real. We live in the 21st century. This is crypto Twitter. I mean, these people are crypto influencers on crypto mm-hmm. Twitter, and they don't think anything they say is going to get screenshot. Like, come Facts. on, bro. Facts. Like, that was come the dumbest on. thing ever. Like, none of them. None of them. They were all <laughs> spilling the beans to each other. Like, you know, it's like none of you guys thought you would get screenshot ever. And like, nah. Well, I said, there was one smart. Guys. There was there was one smart guy in the group who was like, hey, man, like. This is this is getting out of hand, man. We might get arrested. We should we should uh stop this. You know, like there's only one smart guy there who was like, "Hey, I don't know about this one, man." <laughs> you know, so that's 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 be, be on the lookout. I mean, and that's pretty much what this pod, pod pretty much episode is going to be about. It's just for sure, uh, you know, hackers, scammers, and all types of shit. So next next thing I want to bring up. Um, is the Q coin hack? Let's get into it. Let's oh, get into I already the know Q about coin this. Hack. You're the one All who right. let me even know about it with the Man. as soon as it happened. So I have I have a lot of thoughts on this hack because some of the things that that happened with this hack leads me to think like it is things thing don't make no sense. First of all. Man, there's so much to go over, but I'll just say, first of all, I'll start with KuCoin itself. How the hell if if you know that some of these projects are trusting you with 30% of their supply before they release their main net, 40%, 80% of their supply before, you know, to do an IEO or whatever, how the hell do you have 150 mil? And actually it was more than 150 mil because they're not even counting the D, the, the Bitcoin wallets. Some people are saying 280. Yeah, 280 because they only counted the DeFi wallets, but they weren't counting the, the Bitcoin wallets, the Litecoin wallets, you know, all those other coins. Um, they were mostly counting like the new DeFi coins that everybody's kind of been into lately. But how the hell do you have all that money in one hot wallet? Like, for example, 
I'm I'm really like g- like bullish on AKRO. AKRO had 30% of their supply just sitting on a KuCoin hot wallet. Like how? <laughs> you know like how the hell? And if I give 30% of the supply to an exchange, I'm going to say, "Hey, can you not have this on a hot wallet?" You know what I'm saying? To where it could just get stolen or broken into. So that was one thing that didn't make sense to me. So if it came from different wallets, then maybe I'm wrong about that. The second and most important part is the response of some of these coins that, you know, that they took it to involve with this hack, right? Absolutely. That's now, what got me, bro. Yeah. So it's like okay. we, we had talked about uh, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic before, right? We talked about code is law yeah. and, and all that yeah. stuff. How Relax. these coins literally just said, hey, we're just going to fork the coin. We're just going to, del- you know, just basically just. No, what, what? Go ahead. Well, they just deployed it. Well, they deployed a new contract and the new contract was able to blacklist that one address. Essentially, that's kind of pretty much what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and because it wasn't initially in the contract, but they just went and deployed a new one and pretty much migrated everybody's money over. It was just kind of like a fork, but it's just a new, um, you know, nothing changes on the front wallets, but just we move everything to a new things just to uh, blacklist that account. Right. Yeah. So some of my, my biggest ones was ample. First. I was just like, ah, damn, yeah. bro. I thought mm-hmm. like, come on. And then ocean too. Yeah. I was ocean. like, for real bro. dude, like, yeah. come on. Like, Whew. and so a lot that, that, so that, that shine the light, you know, people mm-hmm. are kind of being grateful for that hacker because that shine the light on some of these projects that quote unquote were decentralized, but totally are not, are not. Right? And and even if it was, even if you were going to take that, you know, security measure or whatever, you need, you should definitely have uh, a vote on the community, a decentralized vote to let, you know, everybody pick what's going to happen. Because, like, you just took full, se- like, Absolutely. I was like, bro, you, the U.S. government can't even do that. <laughs> like, if somebody robs a bank, they can't just, hey, we're going to just cancel that money and issue some new money instead like bro so yeah it 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 really it really uh it really changed it up so much so that i had to hit up all my platinum mentees and just let them know the deal like yo we uh i'm changing up my whole investment strategy right i I can you know i can't tell them to do whatever but i just had to let them know i'm changing it all up right and one of the things i let them know was first of all i'm taking a bigger position in bitcoin yep step one Why? Because of pure fundamentals Mm -hmm. of decentralization, Mm -hmm. just pure fundamentals. Right. Like they, you, Bitcoin, you just can't do that. Like you just can't go like, like straight up. You can't. Yeah. That's something that I brought up like a bunch of times because people ask me like, yo, why, why Bitcoin and this and that. And I'm like, look at the end of the day, no matter what you want to think as of right now, because yeah, there's, there's platforms that are, decentralized or working on going fully decentralized but there's not one platform that is fully decentralized like bitcoin is right now like and as far as like fundamentals even like people say oh well maybe ethereum but it's like come on now ethereum still has vitalik and if vitalik leaves what do you think is going to happen to the price of of ethereum well ethereum's got the whole scar the scar and and like a scar face what's the scar face yeah they roll back the blockchain bro like right. you, I mean, yeah, you made it through, but you got a fucking scar on your face, right? From which, right. what you, you for, for breaking your own laws, right? So, um, yeah, and Vitalik and everything too. But like, so as far as just pure fundamentals of decentralization, big. This is where I side with the maxis, right? I'm. I never said yeah, but I, this is where I will side with the maxis. Like, on that one point, yeah. Basically, pretty much, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, you know what? I side with you guys when it comes to pure, pure fundamentals and history of decentralization track record of true decentralization that is bitcoin right doesn't out of all the hacks there's bitcoin just couldn't get together and just stop that uh, bitcoin moving from one address to another it doesn't work like that the bitcoin Uh moves no matter no matter what that's why i say even banks man when they get robbed they don't just hey we just gonna move change everything like no man that's crazy that so yeah and and the second point was i am no longer investing and a DeFi project or in, in DeFi, unless it has a governance mm-hmm. to it. That's it. Because honestly, if Ocean or Ampleforth, at least those are my biggest ones, 
if they were to just add, like, if they were to put it up for vote, like, yo, should we deploy a new contract to freeze that? I would have voted yes. Exactly. I would have voted yes. Exactly. But the fact that they can go and just do that on their own and then send out some medium article, like, thank you for understanding, like, from some tweets, thank you for understanding. Like, oh, sorry, we just did that. Are you Coinbase? (laughs) Right, (laughs) right. It's like, oh, sorry, we just decided to um, go ahead and pause the, the, um, the blockchain. Like, wait, 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 what? You know, somebody so, actually has the authority to pause my wallet. Like, so on, here's man. so now you got to understand why. Now we got to go back. Why did they make that move? Well, I'm here's my here's my ninety percent theory of why they make the move to protect the investors, the VCs that actually invested. Why? Because everybody was waiting for the tsunami wave to hit. Right? The dude's gonna he wants to cash out. 20 mil worth of ample forth, right? For, yeah. for everybody know, every, if you're holding any of those bags that that dude got, everybody's waiting for the tsunami to hit, right? Right. Like, you know, and plus the FUD, right? So that's already going to drive your bags down 30, 40% once he dumps plus the FUD, mm-hmm. right? So investor was like, investors, this is only thinking as in, you know, nah, don't let my bags just drop 40%. It has nothing to do with the protocol. Oh, no, you guys need to go and fix something so you I don't lose money because I invested in you. So what they did right. is they went and did something. They sacrificed the user base for their investors. That's how I see it. That's how I interpret it. Well, what, right? what another thing that was like kind of important that, you know, speaking in, in defense of decentralization was, like I said, this is one of the reasons why it was such a problem to me that they had so many of the coins because decentralization basically depends on how many different people hold the coins, right? The more people who who can vote, the more decentralized it is. So what what they were really afraid of, and this is what people don't didn't understand about it either. The reason why they took such drastic measures, what they were really afraid of was that you're going to have one person, for example, in AKRO, you're going to have one person with thirty percent of the voting power now because he he hacked the wallet. That's why I said, how do you have even KuCoin with 30% of any wallet? You know, if it's going to be that much of a problem for the governance, he can just go in there and, you know, ba- more basically like a 51% attack. You know what I mean? Because he's going to have so much, so much of a big part of the voting pool. That's how Google uh, founders work. Both of them have over 40, 51% of the voting uh voting um of what goes on with google no matter what exactly exactly no matter what that's why they're in charge (laughs) that's why they're in charge if they if they lose that percentage if they sell one percent of that somebody else is going to be able to call the shots you know what i mean and and hire new board members or do you know what i mean yep so um okay yeah so back to the back to that. So I was telling my platinum mentees, I'm, I'm, I'm changing the game up. Basically, I'm just kind of sharing a little game with everybody is that I'm taking a bigger position in Bitcoin for pure fundamentals. And I'm only investing in DeFi's that have a, a governance to it. Wi-Fi has governance. Uni has governance. ZZZ has governance. Uh, what else? And, I, I, and I'm not investing back in my bags unless they introduce governance. Unless Ocean comes out with governance, I'm not mm. I'm not adding on. Uh, if Ample Forth comes out with governance, until then, I'm not looking at you. Until you introduce governance, I'm not fucking with it. In it my opinion, to, this is has just to my be good. It has to be good governance as well. Yeah, uh, the tokenomics behind the governance have to balance out because even Uni's uh, uh, low key kind of kind of fucked up as far as the tokenomics and the voting rights because you need a lot of votes to even make a proposal and you need a lot more to like that's true so that's why a lot of people can't claim their uni airdrops like a lot of these big wallets like dharma and everything because they need people to vote on on the, for them to be redistribute another airdrop right that's mm-hmm. just so people can't even get together and vote so those people like dharma and all these other wallets are whatever they they can't co- claim that you know 100k bread that's waiting for them uh, unless the, the governance votes it in but until yeah. then, they they missed out. They missed out. All right. Well, let's um let's go, go into you know what we finna talk about next, right? Oh, absolutely. Let's go you know for it. Hashtag, 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 hashtag E M N. What's up? Hey, it's still a good time to buy. <laughs> you think so? You going in on that one? <laughs> Hey, hey, let's dump on them. Hey, hey, Jay, let's dump on them. We're gonna we're gonna start this Zoom meeting. We're just gonna dump on them. We're gonna yeah. <laughs> I, I I got a, I got a, I got a one thousand seven hundred uh, EMS left. Let's dump. Let's start the liquidity pool. <laughs> start the liquidity pool, man. Yeah, man. So, um, he, let me let me let me because I didn't hear about it from you, right? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I heard about the hack from you, but. 
before that, prior to that, I was like an hour or two, like looking at everything. I was checking it out, bro. Uh-huh. I was th- looking into writing smart contracts. I was checking out everything. And I'm like, yo, this is dope. This is dope. But I've always, th- this is what I do. I never, I, I jump in the deep, I jump in the deep end with the rubber du- uh, ducky float. Right? <laughs> like, I, I, I wear the rubber ducky float, but I, I go for it in the deep end, you know? So yeah. I threw 25 bucks at that shit, right? Like, uh-huh. you know, like, because I've, I've already took big losses, right? Yeah. So when something presents itself to me, I know not to get, to, get too excited because I exactly. feel excited. Exactly. Because I feel excited, I know I shouldn't get too excited, mm-hmm. right? It's, that's, that's just how you level up as an investor. So I said, you know what? You got to counter trade those me, emotions. Yeah. Let me capture some of this, but let me capture some of this at the lowest risk possible where I'm not even emotionally remotely attached to it. Mm-hmm. I did so. Boy, right? I, I did so. I went to get some tacos. I get a text from you. And um, <laughs> you and you're like, yo, we gotta talk about this rug pool. And I'm like, all right, like, sure, yeah, what rug pool? What just happened? You're like, E N E N E M N. Or like, I, I didn't even want to text you back. <laughs> I was just like, wait, what the fuck? Like, this dude's texting me that you know, I was just 30 minutes ago was just, and then I got some tacos and I'm getting the met like, damn. damn. And you show and my internet, I was just like, fuck. I mean, I wasn't upset. I wasn't even anything, but damn it. I never seen $25 go to five cents so fast, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, that's why real talk. I was going to jump in because I was like, oh, this might be something cool. But then I was just like, there ain't no website. There ain't no white paper. There ain't no no nothing. There's literally just a logo, but I, but I see people fomoing in like crazy, you know. And I'm like, man, I come back like literally, like I said, like just like you, probably like an hour. I'm like, I look at the chart. I'm like, whoo! <laughs> I'm glad I didn't get into that one. You know what I mean? Yo, somebody, oh, and, man. and so definitely we got to talk about the whole thing. Now, people. Uh, or hella, or first of all, do you believe Andre's story? Oh man, you know what? Let it out, brother. Andre's story got some holes in it, bro. You think so? Well, because my the only hole that it has in it, like for me, like I I understand where Andre is dealing with some some shit in his life right now that he's never experienced before ever. You know what I mean? Being like. This guy is literally like the Satoshi of 2020. That's how everybody's treating him. Like he's such just a genius this, for what he for what he did if, with Wi-Fi. If you yeah. listen to uh, Andre's podcast, you can tell honestly what he's experiencing was the biggest fear of his life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is I that- heard I heard one of his interviews where he was just talking like, "Man, you know what? Like, this is not even something that I ever expected to happen." He's like, "It's good that I got people who are willing to to come in and like help me and take over some of the stuff." You know, but he was just like, I, I made these programs for, for my friends and I to use, you know, like, you know, so. His biggest fear is that people, people, people lose it. Sorry. People losing money and blaming him. Yeah. Oh, really? Right. Yo, absolutely. Because that's how he started Yearn. He was managing other people's money. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. yeah, you know, and he just, his whole thing was to always make sure that people got a return on their investment. Yeah. Right. And. But the way he develops, he's just a prototype guy. Well, he just creates prototypes. He just creates the first rough draft of shit. Okay, now let's it. talk. Hold on. Let me let's just backtrack about what really happened real quick so that people okay, can okay, get okay. like a little understanding. So yes. from from what I know, Andre's story and, and a lot of other people who are like, you know, top in the game were saying that this is what happened. People had they can see, you know, crypto being transparent and all, you can see other people's wallets and stuff and they could see what he was developing. Right. And that's what made the guy go ahead and, you know, basically take what he was developing and release it early. You well, know he didn't saying? release it. I mean, it was just contracts that they were testing out pretty much. Yeah. 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 Like testing out, but he basically like put it out in the public early for people to start going into it. Right. So here's here's where I, here's why I put blame on Andre. Mm-hmm. This is where this is why I have to side with the community. Right. There are test nets for a reason, bro. 
There are test nets on Ethereum for a reason. There's more Everybody than five knows. different test nets. Everybody know he testing prod though. Like that's <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. So I'm 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 with the community on that one. There's test nets for a reason, but it's like, yo, this dude told you he testing prod. Like yeah. pretty much to me, I learned how to drive on the freeway. Right. That's what that means to me. You're learning <laughs> like, how to drive on the freeway, exactly. <laughs> you know, like of course, like well, eventually, I don't know. It wasn't. I mean, I'm sure he would have taken the steps to get everything properly audited and everything if it was the time to do it, but it wasn't. Exactly, exactly. Right? Now, here's what I blame. Here's where I do side with the community. Uh You should be mindful. I don't put the blame on Andre, but you should be mindful of the influence you have, okay? Yeah. You're not responsible for people buying and selling or anything. No, but you should be... You should, you should, there's a test net for a reason. You should be mindful about uh, your influence and you probably shouldn't reveal too much uh, about some potential investment before it's even ready to be even shown. Like that's, that's, yeah. that's the most I can, I can get. So in, in with, his, in his defense, I would say like when it comes to like the whole being mindful part, like when, when did Wi-Fi like release and have this big pump? Like, you know, Andre's only been in the public eye like that since this year basically you know what i mean so i think this guy is still learning because he even tweeted out like you know after looking at this whole thing he goes the you know there's two things that people are saying is my fault which i'll agree to you know he's saying not being mindful that you know my information can be out there people can be digging in on me people are you know what i'm saying like people are watching him you know crypto stalking yeah, they're like stalking him and that and, you know, stuff like that. And then that basically is just saying like anything he says could be taken with like just so much enthusiasm. And he, you know, basically saying, man, I can't even if I even joke right now, it can wreck some people, you know, like like Elon Musk. Yeah. Elon Musk's tweets get that nigga like in court. Right? Yeah, he'll no be in court. And he's like, bro, I'm just I'm just tweeting about a joke. Like, I just, you know, like I can't have fun. Yo, no, Elon <laughs> Musk, like that's part of his budget now is visiting the courts over his tweets, mm-hmm. man. Because mm-hmm. people want to sue him over a tweet, all types of shit, man, left and right. Yeah. Now let's get wild, get into why I don't agree with Andre. Okay, let's because, talk about it. Because, bro, now his in his story, he said, yo, I was I took a nap and I woke up. And, you know, do left me half of the money and a, and a note that said, sorry. Right. That was his story. Okay. But his Twitter tweeted out that logo of that project literally an hour before it got rug pulled. So that to me is like, I, I that's unexplainable, bro. You know what I mean? So... Wait, repeat that. So he had said, like, his whole story was, yo, I didn't know he what happened. Sleep, yeah. yeah, he went to sleep, blah, blah, blah. Woke but up to eight mil, right? He woke up to eight mil. But people were complaining, and I even seen it myself. He tweeted that project, so everyone said, ooh, what is this? It's something that he's working on. That's what I got everybody even more hyped about it, you know? And to people's fault, they FOMO'd in. And about 45 minutes later, is when the hacker did his thing. So I think to me, that's the most part of your story that does not add up because I'm pretty sure that you're the only person who has access to your Twitter. And he doesn't really tweet like that. He don't tweet all the time. It was the inside job, but it wasn't Andre. Let me just, uh, that's, that's pretty much what. So it's like, like so I'm wondering like, did somebody in the, you know, you took a nap in the office when somebody got your phone and tweeted out the logo or you know, like, or did, or was the hacker just kind of waiting? And as soon as he saw that you did something that, that got the community excited, then he did what he did, you know? So it's like, it's kind of iffy of how, you know, how that happened of like, yo, bro, you tweeted this project right before, but then you claim you don't really know nothing. You claim you were asleep, you know? So yeah. that, that part about it was like, hmm, so... It's, you know, it's an iffy, it's an iffy subject because of that whole part to me, you know? Because mm. mm. why would you tweet out a project if you had nothing about it or you didn't know, you know, and people were pissed like, bro, in the, in the tweet, people were saying, hey, what is this? Is this something you're working on? Is this a new project? The people were wondering what it, what it, what it was, you know, but 
I still think it's the market's fault because why the hell would you invest into something based off of just a logo? That's all I greed. Mean, that's all greed right I mean, there. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, <laughs> it's like, it's even if, even if Andre really did pull it, bro, you still can't blame him because yeah. everybody did it. Like you, right. I mean, like, come on. Like, I mean, you threw all your like, money so based he, on a logo into my test project. Thanks listen, for the donation. Like, <laughs> Okay. So check this out. Check this out. First of all, I don't think I don't, first of all, I, I have a huge feeling that Andre doesn't need the money. Yeah, no, okay. he, yeah, exactly. Why would he? Be, I don't like, think, come on. Like, being the way like, his reputation is going, this guy could be a billionaire by the end of right? like two years. He he's not, so not going to go. Can't say, I, I can't say he would be money, money motivated. I can yeah. say that probably somebody else around him was. I can at least suspect that. But I yeah. don't consider him money motivated um, because he gets money for free all day. Like people donate to this dude Wi Fi and fucking eat like, all, and die all day, bro. Um, I wouldn't know that for sure, but that's the, I, I've seen tweets people saying I donated to Andre like constantly. Um, yeah. So I don't think he's money motivated. So if he's mon- not money motivated, then it still doesn't add up. Still doesn't add up. Well, uh, but I no also, matter what, I also heard ahead. something about you know like um, in in a podcast that I was uh, watching from you know with him before I forget what channel it was on. But um, he had mentioned something about, you know, he was kind of irritated about all these clones, you know, all these Wi-Fi clones, you know, and they were even talking about setting up mechanisms within Wi-Fi that would, you know, basically buy these other clone coins and then dump on them, like dump on them automatically. Like they're I've heard something like that, yeah, you know, like something, <laughs> something would be in their contracts that actually used money to dump on these other clones, you know, so. For me, I'm like, that's kind of spiteful, you know what I mean? <laughs> to use your money to, you know, like your all your work is open source. So at the end of the day, like that's kind of what open source, you know, that comes with the the net the thing, you know what I mean? Like Yeah. You, and, and, gonna, and honestly, people were really forced. looking at this dude like he's fucking Jesus Christ of crypto. And yeah. and I don't I don't blame him, right? I don't blame him. But right. it's only a matter of time before you get some dirt on you, bro. Even if it's right. not your fault, right? Like before some some dirt's gonna get onto you. It happens to every especially well, the thing when is, you're I'm like a, Elon Musk of fucking DeFi, right? Listen, I'm gonna send you this interview that I that I had. You gotta put it in the comment of this one because it was it's very telling about Andre. Cause for me, it shows that he's an honest dude. He seems like a cool person, but it also shows that he's just a dude who develops something, you know decided that he just hey you know, why don't i just give this to everybody like on a fluke and then he talks about how the whole market just thought he was some type of genius and gave him more credit than he deserves you know so i mean i can't i can't say i hate the dude it doesn't, no, he no, doesn't me neither no you, like he's trying he's, to kiss people's ass right, right he's giving all the precautionary shit right and he's and very like, honest it, you know he's telling yeah, you straight I mean, up like you probably will lose it if you you know he, he's telling you like i you know his his description is i test in prod like don't go into it, it. has zero <laughs> financial value like come on dude. i mean yeah. so he says you know, in that video stop buying wi-fi what, please they start they start trying to say well if people want to speculate on it and he's like please stop trying to give it value like <laughs> but know. you got to understand though that's all the mercedes Benz right now when, when you have that don't buy it zero financial you know how many tokens zero financial value da 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 like oh yeah, yeah. liquidity money like like that's all mercedes Benz shit like because he that's he rebranded that shit right yeah. so now it's don't buy me don't farm meme and don't buy meme, right? And that's the meme, right? Yeah. So that's how, so that, I mean, so it's crazy how the psychology works. That's why you, you know, this is degenerate, like you, shit, because it's like, so now here, let's, what I really want to emphasize on is how people knew the absolute risk they were taking. There was, there, yes. you, there was no other way. Like, yeah. there was no other way. You know, you're about to jump off, you're walking, right. it's a cliff. You're walking on the edge of the cliff. Right, like, and that's why on. somebody I saw somebody on Twitter has said, "Man, this thing makes me sick." People were like, "Yo, uh, I'm a DJ, you know, degenerate. I'm gonna throw, you know, I'm I'm throwing five ETH on this project that I don't know anything about." Ha 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 ha! And then when they get rug pulled, they're like, "Andre, you owe me money. I'm gonna kill you!" Like, <laughs> like what? Yo, like, people got so many suicide tweets coming up. Like for real though, I'm not, I'm not worried. Yeah, no, for real. Trust me, I've been there. Right, yeah. but. You 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 kind of become desensitized because you, there's just avatars on Twitter, right? Right. But these are actually real people. Every time something like that happens, you got to say that's over maybe a couple thousand people around the world just like 
just it did just the fucked up their whole lives in that second. You angry, know? angry, angry. Like, angry like it just like and it happens and you got to understand what especially to people coming in this game this crypto markets ain't nothing like you've ever seen it it's a demon within itself right right you know i mean and that just goes back to the, main... the screen but some people's lives are being ruined behind the screen right and, it's, and it's fucking flash and their lives are being ruined based on the decisions that they take that's why it's like the number one rule in investing in cryptocurrency is don't invest more than you can afford to lose because you will lose it. You know, I saw something like, on, as a side note, you know, I was in a group on Telegram for uh, the coin uh, KLP, which is like a proof of work uh, coin on top of Telegram, on top of Polkadot, right? And it's kind of like the only proof of work coin on top of Polkadot. So I was interested in it. Somebody in that group, bro, bought at the high, you know, when, you know, before D, when DeFi was, everything was pumping, right? And everything took a little yep. break. Caught up in the hype. Yeah, he got caught up in high, bought at the high, borrowed money. So I guess in China, there's different rules about borrowing money. You know, if you borrow some money from somebody and you don't pay them back, like they can do things to you, you know, so uh, like legally. So he was just distraught and left a suicide note in the Telegram group, bro. And was like, this is it. You know, I'm spending my last moments with my son and I hope the founder of this coin is happy and you know, all, all this crazy stuff, you know what I mean? And it was like this, yes. this, this big old spectacle because it was like a real ass uh, thing, you know what I mean? That yeah. that kind of woke everybody up to like, you know, like, you know, w- watch what you're doing over here, you know, because you could get wrecked, you know? Yeah, and that, I, and that I, was I, no I, rug pull. That was no scam. That was just the price of the coin, just doing what the markets do. Yeah, know? and here's the thing. It's almost coming to a point where it's hard for me to recommend this game for people who aren't in it exactly. and there may be better places where you mm-hmm. can kind of, you know, like, or different ways you can kind of, but cause I mean, pe- I mean different people ways like me, to play in the game. Like, like, yeah, there's different ways to play. So it's like, I'm even right now, it's like, I'm showing new people how to do this. And they're saying, yo, what's up with this coin? And I'm like, look, brother, it's a DJ coin, right? <laughs> you might end up getting a 10 X and getting lucky, but you might, most likely lose it all <laughs> you know you may get lucky and, and may never know when to cash out right plus that right and then and then you may never and then when you do get lucky you better not you have think that, you're gonna get even luckier right you better not have that fomo out. and say what if it keeps going up i'm gonna miss out on money so that's that fomo so it's like i don't want to recommend these to you but then they come back and say yo bro this this thing done did a 15x how come you didn't you know you told me not to buy it well i'm like Hey man, like that's part of the game. Like if you know, look at this. Look at these other ten coins that you know went to zero. You would have turned a hundred dollars into five cents instantly. You know, like yeah, yeah. Like your followers. Oh, you weren't on top of that. You weren't on top of yeah. that. I was on top of it. It's like <laughs> nigga, shut your ass up. You just right. got in this fucking game. What do you right. fucking know? <laughs> you know, like what the fuck do you know, like, bro? You can, and and so much shit is happening around this whole game like you're not going to be on top of all of it if you're on top no of all of it like you're you're not sleeping at all and and yeah. chances are you're still not going to be on top of all of it because you got well like, the sleep is going to it's going to fuck you up you're going to be yeah. making terrible decisions right um, so it's like you're not going to be on top of it always you know? and that's and I, I decided and I, I, that's what i soon realized and that's why i'm like all right you know what i'm not going to be on top of it but what i can be is on top of what you're doing me on top of it like <laughs> exactly. I don't know, you, get, get, you know what i'm saying like, like i gotta be on top of what i'm doing whether i'm yeah, trading yeah, or i'm exactly. holding or i'm farming i gotta be on top of what i'm doing you know i can't you really know? be on top of the whole market you know pick a couple coins you know pick pick some that you like and and be on top of those there's no reason to because what you're gonna find out is like there's a lot of good stuff out there you know in the crypto space there's a lot of good projects out there and if you try to get on every good project you're, you're going to spread yourself too thin for sure. And, and I'm glad you brought that up. Cause I'm at the point where, um, you got, I, you need to carve out time. Why do you need to for obviously yep. a healthy life, but to build some skills, if you don't, you know, build some skills, you'll keep finding yourself in the same position. So it's crucial. I tell all my mentees, you got to start learning something, at least learn a programming language, learn something. Because when this crypto shit does not work out for you or it does, you know what I'm saying? You've got to have something to fall back on that you can rely on yourself, bro. 
And like, people just don't get it until it happens. And I'm like, yo, yo, y'all should have listened. I should have learned something, right? Instead of just throwing my money at crypto markets, expecting to be living off that shit. Like, no, it don't work that way, man. You got to learn a skill and you got to carve out time. And you can't just be focused on buying shit all the time or what's been up, what's been going down. You got to carve some time out to learn something new. Especially even if it comes like, for me, it's like my thing was like, you know, learn trading if you don't want to learn anything else and you don't have to trade risky cryptocurrencies all the time once you learn that skill you have that skill say you can trade bonds you can trade stocks you can trade futures you can go ahead and and you know branch out and do what you need to do you know you, you can heard, trade you can trade forex you can do whatever you need to do you heard that you heard of that story i don't know if you, everybody look on but ted talk the dude traded a red paper clip for a house mm-hmm. you heard about that story mm-hmm. yeah that's some game. Trade shit, anything. Though. You can trade, yeah. You know, because well, I traded the paper clip it, for a pen, traded the pen for a hair tie, traded and, the hair tie and, for and, you know. And the snow globe shit is what I what it fucked everybody up because people were like, yo, you that was so and then that was and people were like, that was the dumbest investment anybody could have ever made in their entire life. Right? right, was getting like something like right, and then people didn't know that he knew something, and it ended up being one of the best investments. Right, so you know, you 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 sitting here judging people, laughing at people over an investment, and before you know it, it unpaid off. Right, it unpaid yeah. off, and you you sat back on the side laughing, and it's like who has the last laugh now? Right, just like just like everybody who uh, passed up on on Bitcoin at at thousand dollars or two hundred dollars or you know a couple cents something like that you know like i have an example of me doing that you know like i passed up on so many like one example would be hex you know i don't know if it's a a scam yeah like me neither i don't i don't know if it's a scam or not but like i strictly passed on it strictly based on hype of what i was hearing about it about it being a scam and everybody else who got in on it did like 100x you know and i'm thinking i would have got out i wouldn't still be in it you know (laughs) like i wouldn't be staking it or nothing but you know, it's just, that's just kind of and, one of the and, things about and it. And that's another, that's, that's another uh, thing you got to realize. There's enough fish in the sea for everybody else too, bro. Right. Right? You can't be trying to catch the whole harbor. You only got one boat, right? You only got a couple. Nah, man, there's uh, people are going to be getting other fish that you just, you know, that are cool. Right. Like you just You're, weren't in that lane and you weren't looking at that investment and, you know, and don't, gonna, get, don't get salty about it. Right. You're like, going to miss opportunities. Like you're going to miss opportunities because there's just, just going to be so many of them. How can you not? Yeah. There's going to be so many of them. Like, how could you not? Exactly. You know? And, 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 and the opportunities really, the opportunities, people think all oh, the green going up, man, I missed out on the, but the opportunities are actually when the price is damn near fucking red, double digits right. red. Buy on right? them red days. Buy That's on them red the real days. opportunity. On them double right? digit red days. Oh man, you better be getting happy. Like people be, oh man, it's no on them double digit red days, get happy and start buying. On them double digit green days, especially if you end up with a triple digit green day, like take some profit, man. Like <laughs> cause when them double digit red days come, then you can pick up some more. You know? Man. And um so uh, yeah, yeah. Now Back to back to the election. Let's let's put let's put. I want to I want to bring that up. Back to the oh, election. Hold on, one more one more thing before we get into the yeah. to the to the Go politics. Ahead. Just one more uh, the elephant in the room of the of the crypto space right now. Let's do it. Let's do it, brother. Uh, Bitmex CEO oh. CTO arrested. What well, Arthur Hayes? Arthur Hayes got arrested this morning. Damn. The DJ the DJ man himself. Like that word DJ comes from Arthur Hayes. You know that? Did you know that? No, I did not. I did not know that. So what happened was back in the day, Arthur Hayes, the, one of the reasons why people hate that man so much is because when he was starting his exchange, there's a, a audio of him saying, oh, we need to get this exchange. We need to make this exchange the biggest thing. We're going to get these degenerate traders to come on our exchange and make us a hell of money. You know, he's just straight blunt about it. You know, the degenerate traders are going to come in and basically lose all their money on our exchange and we're going to get rich, you know? And uh, that's why a lot of people are like, man, you just kind of blatantly just saying it, you know, (laughs) you know, so that whole term DJ came from Arthur Hage when he used that term back in the day, Um, that degenerate trader term. Um, You you know, you know, the first thought that comes to my mind, hmm. 
they'll do anything to take a black man down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> it don't matter where you from. It don't matter. No, we're going to do. We'll pull. Man, that fuck crazy. that shit. We're taking you down, nigger. <laughs> that fool crazy. That fool. I remember he was tripping. Like, he started having, like, uh, a rough week. You know, the government was after him or whatever. He's like, they can't catch me. I'm out here. You know, I'm jogging. They can't take a nigga down. Like, I'm not here jogging. <laughs> you know, pump pump Bitcoin. As soon as he said pump Bitcoin, that shit dumped. <laughs> Dude, dude, oh, dude. I mean, I, I don't know the brother. Uh, I wish him the best. He's yeah, yeah. definitely one of uh, the, the well-known figures. I mean, to, for me, when I first got in this crypto, I'm like, damn, a black brother making money like that up in this crypto game? Mm-hmm. Shit, I, I got a lot of catching up to do because it's Arthur Hayes. Is, that's the yeah, big no, baller man. in this do, shit. Do your research on Arthur Hayes, man. I don't, like, for me, it's like I'm 50-50 on him because I can't tell if he really, like, he's one of those people It's like his sense of humor could be just yeah. one of them weird sense of humors or he can just really be in a jerk right to our face <laughs> you know what I mean? like, why I, pretty much both at the same time yeah you know? pretty much the both. fact that he has a sense of humor shows something right yeah but um yeah man they got they got arrested for uh offering uh illegal exchanges in the united states um him and the cto of bitmex so bitmex i mean i think that's why everybody's that's the reason why bitcoin's down right now um that's why it took a little dump because people started getting kind of scared of you know this regulatory reminder i guess yeah yeah um and that that that's that's only that's only the first domino they already got telegram said telegram fuck that shit you can't start a crypto now Mm -hmm. that they got kicked Right. Mm-hmm. I think they said kick. No, nah, fuck you. You can't, you know, so they're, they're knocking down the doors, bro. They're coming for you. Right. Yeah. They're coming for you. If you if you got any centralization to your shit, knocking down the doors. Right. One right. after another. Right. And so that's how you know this DeFi shit's about to explode. That's what I said. People said, oh, don't you think that this is a problem? For DeFi and the rate, I said the thing about DeFi is this is the best advertisement DeFi, DeFi could ever have. Yeah. Who are they going to arrest? <laughs> <laughs> you can't arrest a Uniswap. You gonna arrest a unicorn? <laughs> like who they gonna arrest? You know. So that's that's the thing about DeFi. Um, and so now now that I, you couldn't be more bullish, right? You know, right. you couldn't be more bullish on de- actually decentralized stable coins, like real decentralized stable coins, like Dai and YUSD and maybe SUSD, like these truly decentralized stable coins. I'm telling you, bro, that's the new standard of money about to come out. Mm-hmm. Give it a year or two, bro. Mm-hmm. New standard yeah. of money is gonna be paying pay me and die. I'll pay you and die. Right? I already right. get paid and die. Oh, yeah. so we forgot to mention that the uh EMN they got the wet the refund website. So that people oh, got that's a right. refund. That's right. Right? I got five bucks back out of my twenty-five dollars. And and I was like, <laughs> I was like, yo, can you refund my gas? Because I spent more <laughs> buying the shit, more in gas buying the shit right. and claiming my refund. Like, I don't I even want to claim investment. I don't even want to claim the refund because it wasn't even enough to cover my gas fee. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So man, um, there you that, you know what you think, And that did help remedy some people's but for other people it just cock teased them. It's just like, what? You want to fuck me in the ass, but now you want to give me a dinner too? Like, you know, like, some people yeah. are still like, no, that just, it was just, there. some people, the fact that I even got back money was right. only, only a little bit was just, it wasn't enough. It was just like more of a bigger fuck you. I right? don't even care, man. If, if I lost 100K and somebody sent me back 10K, I'm still happy. I'm already, because like, look, man, you have to understand, like I said, those traders, anybody who lost, in my opinion, anybody who lost more than, I mean, everybody's financial situation is different. But anybody who lost more than like a thousand bucks, bro, like you just threw more than a thousand bucks on something you ain't know nothing about. Yeah, so, like and like I also you basically to, donated. Yeah, yeah. Like you don't you donated to the hacker. You didn't know nothing about. You didn't know how to read code. You couldn't tell if the code like if the code's not audited, yeah. and you're investing in it. You better have read the code yourself. <laughs> you better know how to read that code and know that your money's protected. So why would you invest into something that's not audited like that? That's and, and, very- and I'm glad you said that because I saw a few tweets saying some of my friends are the smartest people I know I, yeah, ever in right. investing and they lost out on this. No, screw Andre. That's We're gonna stupid. Get you. Right. No, you, those people are, I said, those people are not smart. They're some of the smartest gym hunters. I said, no, they're idiots because a smart gym hunter would not call something a gym if they don't know nothing about it. Facts, you know that, that's, that's why I hashtag YOLO into that shit, bro. Right. Hashtag 
YOLO, super DJ. Like, I literally turned up super DJ mode. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, I literally said, hashtag YOLO, super DJ. I'm going for it. But I'm putting my rubber ducky on before I jump in the deep end. Right. Man, I saw somebody was laughing. Somebody was like, um, it was a YouTuber. I forget exactly who it was. But he was just like, man, you know how crazy this space got? Because somebody said, somebody was in his live stream and said, how do, how do you find coins that are going to pump? And he said, you know how dumb this space done got? He said, you got to look for the coins before they get a white paper. <laughs> and he couldn't even get the sentence out because it's such a ridiculous idea. You know what I mean? That, <laughs> that, that that's what crypto turned into. You got to get I, You know this. what? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I fucking love it. There's something right? about me that loves right? it so much that it was like born for this shit. Like, you know, like, uh, you know, I'm going to do not this for a lot of fucking like, pie, right? And yeah, like, as a like, Elon Marley, like, yeah, I'm like I, I I was made for this shit, right? Right. You know, but I I've, I've taken a loss where I became suicidal, and I understand that it, there's certain things in life that you know you really got to evaluate. So yep. I'm I'm I'm, I'm half and things. half. Like I, I'm full degen mode, but I, at the same, same time here. I'm all about risk management. That's what same people here. pay me to, pay me to teach them. They're pretty much risk how not to lose the money. Right. When right? I go you can go about making money, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. When I go degen mode, it's like, bro, I'm going in with like something that's all profits. You know, I'm not going in with like money that, you know, like I'm I'm going in with extra. You know what I mean? You can't just be like, hey, man, like you got to understand what the term degen means. It means you're making a degenerate decision. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, like you better be OK with losing you everything be okay. you put yeah, into you this. You better Come be on. OK with this degenerate decision. That? Like you're having fun, you're gambling. That's what it is. You know? I mean, yeah, you're, yeah I th- it's just the funnest form of gambling, right? Yeah, exactly. Regular gambling isn't that fun to me. But then DJ hashtag YOLO invest in like that's that's low key kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Um uh oh I also and so the dude who created the whole who made this uh, snapshot, who gave the air like set up the website, right? There was a tip jar. It was there was a tip button, right? Uh-huh. Uh donate zero to hundred percent tip, right? right? Of what's your refund. Some idiots out there in the world, bro got almost like 10k 20k 30k back and then put 100 percent to like to thinking that they were going to withdraw 100 percent and donated the 100 percent of the refund back to the developer no dude, way was so salty bro no everyone was way. dude like giving them death threats like and then and then other people are like yo you can't save people's <laughs> stupidity like no matter right. what bro, you like, can't people got their refund back and you donated it and didn't even realize it You're, so people oh, were just like man. yeah i mean talk about wrecked upon wrecked upon wrecked bro man how do you how do you get wrecked get something back <laughs> lucky enough and to get, get wrecked and then get wrecked again <laughs> Oh, so people, because people were like, That's "Why would poetry. you ever put a donate button? Why would you ever put a donate button? How it's dare not, you?" It's not his fault. He put a donate button. Somebody put a donate button because they spent their time on on making exactly, that happen. Exactly, trying to recover so, your money. Right. So don't be mad at the donate button. Get mad that you actually hit it and you didn't want to. Like, <laughs> I mean, oh, it's it's so oh, dirty. It's so nasty, bro. Man, it's so saw, nasty. It's like, it's like how do you keep your head above water? <laughs> like at this. You know, anyone who does is surviving at this point because people are drowning left and right, bro. Like I said, most people are drowning because they're either getting too greedy, get moving too fast, like making mistakes. You know, I had I had somebody the other day who made the biggest mistake ever, bro. Tell they me were, about it. I've look, done it. <laughs> they were they were trading, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I think this mistake actually pumped the price of a coin too, so it kind of got double wrecked. It was like he was trading and he had like a small position, you know, like he had a bunch of Bitcoin in his wallet. So, you know, when you're trading, it shows the Bitcoin in your wallet buy sell. Yeah. And um, he wanted to sell his whole position. So he hit 100 percent sell and accidentally hit buy and, and bought his whole wallet of Bitcoin at the top of this coin, bro. And Whoa. and basically just instantly gave away 20 percent of his portfolio, uh, like 10 percent of his portfolio. Just wow. instantly, just here you go, and he had to sell it right back. You know what I mean? In order to, oh, that was a mistake. I don't want all my Bitcoin in this one coin, you know, and <laughs> had to sell it all back. <laughs> just for moving, more too, money just made, for moving too fast. There's more money made by doing nothing in these markets than actively doing something. Now be patient. Be patient. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's talk about it. Let's wrap it up with this uh, one last thing. Let's wrap it. Who in the hell is listening 
wants to profit off the election I'm in a decentralized sure. way. Look, man, you, it, there ain't you nothing can else currently good going on about the election. <laughs> you can currently buy no Trumps. If you think Trump is going to win, you can buy yeses on through Augur, decentralized prediction market. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. And, yeah. If, and if, if you think Trump is going to lose, you buy in Trumps, no Trumps, right? Mm-hmm. So the way that works, it's a 50, it's a 50 cents. So a whole, a whole vote is $1, but you're buying half the vote. So who, whoever wins, whoever gets yeses and the no's lose, they lose, the no's lose all the money. So you get 50 cents. You can double your investment. But if oh, the no's, okay. versus, yeah, versus the other way, right? So if Biden wins, then the people who, who bought yeses get lose all their money and the, the, the people who bought no's double up. Mm. That's, the, that's how it works with prediction markets. Yeah. So you can currently uh, buy uh, using DAI. There's only, only DAI pools on Uniswap. Right. Because that's the only way you can redeem your money back is uh, through through die through auger. Right. So you can't uh-huh. you can't buy You can buy it with ETH, but you can't redeem if it unless it's in die. That's how you'll get your money back is in a uh, die. So what are your not, not what, what would you like to say based on that, based on uh, profiting off the election through decentralized finance? Um, shoot. As you said that right now, I'm on my way to the auger website. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, look up. Yeah, look up Augur, um, and also I think it's uh, Foundry Finance. If that's the correct site, Foundry uh-huh. Finance, right? But you can go to uh, you can go to Uniswap and look up Y Trump or N Trump Die Pair, and then not just that. I mean, the election soon, but you can provide liquidity to that. I'm just le- I'm leaking some alpha right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so uh, that's that's so. Here now, my thoughts are on this. Are I'm not going to be participating in this. It sounds oh, yeah, very, no. very tempting. It yeah, sounds no. very tempting. I just want to check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I, I, I mean, I really want to. And I, I, I mean, it, it all depends, right? I mean, this could, you know. But I decided that this is gambling, it and is. I'm not a gambler, right? The, yeah. I, it's not. It's not up to me whether Trump wins or loses, mm-hmm. whether I vote yes or no. That's out of my hands, sort of. I can make some money off of it, and I feel like I'm going to be right if I, you know, with the, with the votes I choose, right? Yeah. But I decided it's not crypto investing. Yeah, Unless I throw in a liquidity pool and get some, something out, that's where it's an, an, an investment for me. Mm-hmm. But I decided I'm, I'm, I'm going to step this one out. Not to discourage anybody. I'm just sharing this with you. Just, you know, spitting game, you know, being honest, honest with you guys that I decided I'm going to sit this one out even though I feel like I could really be right on this, but I feel yeah. like that's a bet. That's a gamble. And I'm not a gambler. Um, I, and I'm going to sit this one out, but I, I'm excited to see how, the, you know, if other people do come up off this election, what are your thoughts? Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people are going to come up. I'm looking at the website right now. I see about 150 K uh, volume going through this in total, just going through the whole election thing. But uh-huh. yeah, you know, like this is, it's gambling. I'm not going to get into it. I just wanted to check it out. But yeah, it is. You're, it's gambling. It's a 50 50 gamble. You know, it's like going to the casino and betting on red or black, you know. Yeah. And, you know, because. And, and there's no point in, in getting half yes, half no, because you just cancel your money out. Like, right. you don't make, probably right. you spend more on gas, probably. Right. Probably. You're right. going to lose money on gas for sure if you do that. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, so. and, and the liquidity pool is such a short amount of time. I can't really see unless you're going in with big money and people really, mm-hmm. really ha- hashtag YOLO into this shit. I don't think it'd be a great return on investment from being a liquidity, liquidity provider for uh, those uh, for those pools. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know? so, I mean, it's, it's cool to see that they have like this type of stuff. I remember you said last time about checking out Augur uh, prediction markets, but we should set up our own. Brother. And, um, we, let's talk about that all offline. Let's set up our own. Let's let's, let's kind of like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our own space yeah, in I'm willing to look in, look more into this. I haven't actually, you know, like I said, I haven't actually looked into it enough because but, if you uh, create the market, you can make bread off the market. Yeah. You got to throw, you got to, you know, create the market, but like, that's it. Like you don't even have to buy in to any side. You can literally just create the markets and make money off creating the markets and oh, get a yeah, fee from everyone buying and selling your market. Like that's yeah. gangsta shit right there. Oh yeah, 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 right there. And but it's you, decentralized, but, but, so that's dope. Yeah, but you got it. You put down like you got enough gas to create the smart contract, so that could be thirty, maybe eighty bucks there. You know, to, to create the market. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you don't create a, 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 a good enough controversial market or whatever that may be, nobody, you're not going to make any money. You're going to lose money. 
So yeah. you better make sure you, when you create a market that it's going to be worth it. Like it's definitely going to be worth it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that people you really think is going to be enough, they're going to catch enough eyes for people to really kind of buy yeses and buy noes. For the most part, most people don't care about a lot of shit, but the election, people give a fuck. Yeah, exactly. And people are going to, everybody's like speculating on it for sure. And I'm sure people are going to put their bets on there, probably based on who they're going to vote for. But, you know. <laughs> well, we're going to wrap it up. But I just want everybody to lo- know that I have not lost my faith in Wi Fi. I bought more Wi-Fi. I'm still hella bullish on Wi-Fi. I think they handled it. I think uh, they handled it the best they could. I do think there's some uh, sloppy shit, but I think eventually they'll work hard enough to redeem themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, and every, you know, fr- from now on, everybody, you know, just use risk management. Risk For management, sure. and I, I mm-hmm. and just most of these coins, I don't even buy. Right, imminent, I bought. Right, and I, yeah. that's why I knew I was degenerate. Most of the shit I farm, man, right? I just farm most of the shit. So um, I encourage you guys to be yield farmers. Uh, you want to leave, leave out? What's up, brother? You yeah, no, that's, you know, I didn't really, uh, you know, I didn't buy into it either, you know. But, um, yeah, that's it. Everybody just just manage those risks, man. That's key in this market. Manage the risks. Beware of the scams. There's not much free money going around. Um, and when it does happen, it's it's a big deal and it's for a reason like with uniswap you know like you had to actually use the the platform and believe in it and you know so just be cautious that's all i'm gonna say be cautious be cautious uh, of goods, emotions yeah what goods and services do you offer how can they reach you with the prices on everything oh uh, yeah know. so um right now hit me up through my email everything currency crypto at gmail.com i got the telegram group that's going right now you can get into that it's um pretty dope we got about 300 members in there just spitting game to each other all day handing out you know charts and and calls and cryptos and if you want access to me that's where you can reach me at you know majority of the time is um you know so hit me up on everything currency crypto if you want to you know go ahead and get into that also if you want to um reach out for uh, mentorship same same email, everythingcurrencycrypto.com. I can give you the info on that. And if you want a mentorship with me and Roots, you can either hit him up or hit me up either on our YouTube channels or also at the That's email. extra bread, though. Oh, for uh, sure, for that, sure. That, you're <laughs> reserving both of our times, man. So that's sure. extra bread just to yeah. let, y'all, let y'all know. You know what I'm saying? Um, where, yeah, yeah, you know, hit me up for the mentorship. Check out my courses. You know what I'm saying? Check the links out in the description. And uh, much love until next week. So, so way more crazy shit happens. Yeah, this, right. This is my television show. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. Till next time. Peace. Peace.